Hi, friends and followers. Well, this is a video atypical of me, but it is how to remain safe when working on high voltage equipment. Case in point, this is about 900 volts on this plate cap right here. That's 900 volts at about one amp. That will kill you. This power supply is capable of about 900 volts and that will do you in. So if you wanted to work on this amplifier here, and this is like a small linear amplifier. This is an AB1 amplifier, the same as most linears. It's no different. So on this radio, you can unplug the power supply and be safe somewhat, but on a linear amplifier, you really can't do that. You just got to get in there and work with it. So anyway, power up the radio. At this point, there's 900 volts on that cap there, okay? Now, if this was a linear amplifier, we would turn it off. You'd probably want to unplug the plug just in case from the wall socket like that. All right, and now you want to wait a while because there's still voltage in the capacitors in this power supply, which is in your linear. So I'll discharge this now. So you want to get a screwdriver and one hand only, never two hands, a screwdriver on the frame and approach the... Uh, here, I'll, I'll turn off the light. Approach the uh, suppressor here. It's just something that's attached to the plate circuit and watch what happens. See that? Big spark. Could that kill you? Probably. It's probably 900 volts at, I don't know how many amps, probably an amp. So that's how you discharge this baby. And then you might want to do it again. And now how confident am I that I did this right? See that? I'm not gonna die. And just to show you that there's no tricks involved here, turn it back on. Whoa, unplugged it. Unplugged it, man, I'm too safe here. Plug it back in. Turn it back on. This is Drake number, oh, I'm sorry, this is Swan number two from hell, the 700. So turn it back off. And now that's gonna have power in it again. And you might ask how much power. Good question, let's figure it out. So, the thing's turned off, here's the meter. You can tell I'm prepared for this video, right? Okay, and turn on the light. So now there's bleeder resistors in most good power supplies that are bleeding down this voltage, right? So it's going down, 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 you hope. In, all, in some cases, if the bleeder resistors are burned out, it's not gonna go down. Capacitors can stay, lit up or uh, charged for days and they can still shock the crap out of you okay so one hand never two hands right let's put the meter on here and what do we got oh looky looky there's still 240 volts but it looks like the bleeder's taking it down so case in point turn this turkey on turn it off check the voltage and you'll see it going down so 800 volts 700 Looks like the bleeder is uh, is taking it off. So there's a bleeder resistor, meaning there's a resistor that goes to ground, and it's probably a fairly high ohmage. So it's not doing a lot of work, but it's just enough to bleed this thing off. Bleeding means it's like a person bleeding. It's bleeding off this uh, blood or this power and putting it to ground. So now we're at about 400 volts there. Okay, so let's zap it again. Give it a little knock here. Whoa, that was a nice big zap, wasn't it? Okay, and how much is left now? Probably a little bit. So yeah, there's always, you know, 10 volts in there. It's not gonna hurt you, but, but now it's going up a little bit. Nice, huh? Anything left? Not anything really. Anyway, that's how to bleed off your linear amplifiers. You don't get killed, okay? There. Nothing nothing in there now. Two volts. That won't hurt you. All right. Be safe. Thank you. Have a nice day.